this is a 24-7 operation. Um, whether it's eight degrees out, like we've experienced here this week, or 80 degrees, um, we're gonna get that customer back into service. There's quite a process um, involved. First uh, is initial call from a customer or passerby saying water's coming up out of the street. And uh, from there, we uh, dispatch a crew supervisor. He assesses the situation, we call locates, we get the crew mobilized, and then we start the process of uh, fixing the main break. We have little pinholes from corrosion to uh, pressure breaks where it splits splits the main. Like uh, last week, we lost you know 200 foot of road from curb to curb. We got one fixed. We got one main freight, um, one main break fixed, and then the next uh, 30 minutes we have a page, and we have to go fix another one. And there's three or four just rolling right into each other. Um, so that one crew can be out there for 16 hours. We have a 16 hour limit. Yeah. And then we call in a relief crew and then they take over from there. Heading into winter, where we do have those big variations of temperatures, that's the biggest challenge we face. When it st stays constant cold, uh, we're better off. The, the infrastructure's better off, the water system's better off, but when we have those you know, like last week we run around t-shirts and this week we you know it's eight degrees so that's that's what gets us that's what gets the system number one we protect our you know our workers and our and our uh, employees and then um, you know to a fault our guys are going to go get that customer back in service you know kind of like the postman so wind snow sleet rain hail uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get that customer back in service.